I just think it's a little dangerous because um, even though we're kind of opposite as a spectrum where he's I, I, just from what I've seen, you seem to be more calculated, but he still rolled it in practice. So, you know, he's given a 10 10. Not too calculated for it, sure. <laughs> as it turns out, we're a lot more alike than, than we seem on the surface. Welcome to my vlog. Get after it. All right, we are training. Uh, first day, we're uh, gonna go practice today. We got drivers meeting in a little bit, and then uh, gonna do a little track walk, and then hopefully get on the track twice. It rained a little bit last night, but the track looks pretty good, so uh, we're just getting Travis set in the truck. Pro 2 uh, is all good to go, Pro 4 is looking good, and uh, get the UTV all dialed in, so should be good to go, and uh, yeah, excited for a good weekend, and uh, hopefully get the rain out of our system today, and don't have to see her ever again, so um, should be good. Pretty pumped, the track looks awesome. come out to this event that I had just put up here and everything so far has lived up and just surpassed any of my wildest expectations. So I'm really excited to see how everything comes together. Um, I'm happy this whole, every team feels like a family and it's just been a, an amazing experience. I've actually had a lot of amazing advice from Andrew and it's just cool because like, even the, the basics, like I forgot everything. I don't have anything that I need. I showed up and I'm like, I need to borrow a helmet gloves where can i buy a hans can i get a neck skirt what are tear-offs um you know all of this stuff and he's just been so good and not only did he just point me in the right direction and say you're an idiot he actually walked with me and has done everything and i was like i'm gonna go check out the track he's like you know what let's go check it out and just give me those tidbits all the way through i feel like andrew is such a wealth of like positivity and great information so it's awesome i'm just so excited that like yokohama got got us together and I've been to some races before where you get put on a team where you know people just expect that you get there you're in a pro class you've driven stuff you know what you're doing I am underprepared and over enthusiastic and this team has helped me be the best that I can possibly be I think part of that's because I, I suffer from a lot of the same issues of like forgetting stuff so I have three helmets and I have three pairs of gloves spares and you know thank God our, head, our heads are similar size and stuff but yeah so I think a lot of it isn't like plan. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna be so prepped for Travis. I'm gonna have like one of everything in his size. I'm just like, oh yeah, I forget that all the time. Here's one. Like there you go. So it's been amazing. It's, it's been amazing. The camaraderie. And then like when I got here, I had watched this on TV, and it looks somewhat fast. And like I didn't realize that one end of the track is like four miles that way, and the other end is and like, dude, turn one. Yeah, it looks fast. Dude, I have yet to hit it wide open. I, I'm about four seconds off where I need to be if I expect to get my Yokohama Red Bull truck on top of that podium. And I probably lose two of it coming into turn one. It is super fun. And everything about this is so much greater than I had expected. And it was already at a 10. So we, we've taken it straight to the level. I'm just super pumped we got to drive today. Because normally, like, if there's anything riding on, like, oh, we haven't 
got a ton of seat time, like we'll get it in practice. Like that's the worst thing you could say because it never happens. It rains out or, you know, it's just how it goes here. So I'm just pumped that we got to complete two practice sessions. Like that alone has me over the top stoked. So, um, and you know, we only rolled once today, so that's great. No, that's horrible. But so the greatest part about this coming from two motocross backgrounds, I mean, I've learned so much even from, from your father, just I'm trying to start my own like racetrack and rally cross and all this stuff. And he's telling me all these things of not, what not to do. I've learned so much about life in the past week. This has been absolutely amazing. Um, you know, Andrew is just kind of taking me under his wing. I know he's younger than me, but it's been very helpful. And uh, I would hope that there's more collaborations. I just think it's a little dangerous because um, even though we're kind of opposite as a spectrum where he's I, I, just from what I've seen, you seem to be more calculated. But he still rolled it in practice. So you know he's giving it 10 tenths. Not too calculated, for it, sure. <laughs> as it turns out, we're a lot more alike than, than we seem on the surface. off and qualifying in the pro mod and uh ended up in tool drive so we I think we were like 18th or something so first day at crandon um man land rush start we were i was pretty excited qualified 11th uh we were you know two seconds off uh the lead i was like we're right in there 11th is very far wide um on that start so i didn't get the best jump and i, I pulled over to the right and then i was like third row because even the guys that qualified behind me were in front bumped someone in the first turn we were pretty much last, um, so that was disappointing. I think the, the crew's got a plan, make some changes, and uh, we'll have a rocket ship for tomorrow. We definitely had a faster car in the UTV, I think uh, fastest on track in my opinion, so I didn't get to watch anything, but it uh, felt fast, felt really good. So uh, everything came together, just uh, was a little short. So if we were to qualify up front, I think it would have been a different story, so. But was able to, uh, a lot of carnage first lap that I was able to kind of miss. Just tear off, tear off, tear off, tear off, bump, sorry, tear off. I was blind, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, that was great. Um, Deegan was in one of the first uh, little mishaps. I think we were running uh, inside the top 10, moving forward. I was like, today's going good. And then um, on that restart, man, everyone kind of balled back up and it was super slick. So I really thought like usually most of the car racing that I've done, if you, you're kind of inside of someone, um, I didn't ever want to hit the brakes too much because once you're straight then especially on the restarts everyone just goes by um so i was like oh, i'll just kind of like i'll just rub off with this guy and the the front bumper hooked his rear bumper and we just hooked and went right into the and then pile up and then i was trying to back up but i was on top of the guy behind me so i could smell rubber and i'm like what's going on why is it not backing up and then we were last again then in pro four we had a great start we launched we were definitely the first guy out to the jump and uh just it was exactly the way I envisioned it, how I wanted it to go, best case scenario, it went and then uh, ended up getting a bad jump, just like super freak deal on the middle of the, of the whole shot, nothing we could really do. Kind of launched us up in the air and uh, the other guys got underneath us, but we still came out third. 
Um, and yeah, that first couple laps were really good. I was super happy, and then uh, we started losing the motor, like just barely in the race. So just slowly started getting slower and slower and slower, and literally died on the finish line. Going into tomorrow, I had a lot of fun today. Need to get a better start, which probably won't help now that we didn't finish that and we're starting dead last. Um, but just to be a little bit more patient, I get so frustrated when I'm behind a group and I just, I know we're quicker than where we are on the track and I know that's what everyone gets frustrated with and I'm, my patience is not a virtue. So uh, this track, even though it's wide, um, it, it kind of everything funnels to one line. So even when you think you got to run on someone, uh, then you don't. And if you're trying to be inside of where the, the fluff or the cushion, as they say, I call it berms. Um, you can't stop or do anything, so you just kind of bump into them and bumper cars is frowned upon. So no more bumper cars tomorrow and uh, be patient. I'll try to do better. The two guys that were in front of me ended up having tough races, so I think we would have been there, man. It was, uh, it was a bummer, but uh, you know, we're not about to give up, so I think uh, we got a long night ahead of us. Uh, you know, some problem motors and uh, getting it fixed up. But uh, you know, other than that, we had a good race. It was some of the best driving I felt like I've had all year. So um, I think we're proving stuff, and uh, we just got to make it live. So tomorrow's a new day. It's a good news, and uh, we're gonna go out there and give it all. So.